In today's video guys, we're going to talk about uh, Pegasi. Okay. If Pegasi is a copycat game or an inspired game by other games like Trade Rates Manager. Okay. So uh, just a disclaimer guys, this is not a food. I will be uh, giving you some of the information that I see in the internet. If, if I am wrong, please correct me on comment sections down below. And also, I'm open for a healthy discussion for you guys, okay? So, because me, I am I play a lot of play-to-earn games, okay? I, I can't, like, sometimes um, stand that, okay, um, this is what I found. And I want to share it to you guys so that, um, of course, you will have um, a knowledge as well on how you will be able to research some games, okay? If these games has been pretty much inspired or copycat or, what, or whatsoever, because... Like what I've said to you, okay? Rug pull games, okay? The first criteria is um, it, it is a copycat game from a previous successful game, right? So like Crypto Blades, and then there's like Crypto Zoom, Crypto D Ball, and then all of them got rug pull except Crypto Blades, okay? Number two is, uh, of course, the, the pictures and everything is pretty much the same. So I will be uh, transparent to you guys, okay? So. I will be showing to you the roadmap of um, Pegasi. Okay, so this is the roadmap of Pegasi. Um, the private sale conclusion is at quarter three, 2021. Okay, the first day or the first month that I've created a content about Trade Race Manager, it is June 7. Okay, so that's like January, February, March, April, May, June. So that's like quarter two. Quarter two. Okay, and I think um, the moment that I see Trade Race Manager, it has been going for pretty much a time now. So I think it was around um, one month or two months after they got launched when I see Trade Race Manager. And also, um, this is available on mobile phones. Alright, so um, my point here is that Pegasus gameplay, if you're going to look at this portion over here, okay, there's like these people that are um, inside the race right and then those people that are in top of the of the the current race will win a certain amount of token which is a uh, vis right so the thing here is that i've seen that trade race manager implemented it way back before way back before okay so um, it has been implemented way back before and still implemented up to now. Now, the question here is, um, if we're going to go back in uh, Pegasus um, roadmap, all right? Uh, it says here that uh, the beta release released uh, on quarter four, 2021. So I am not sure, but because these two games are pretty much similar to each other, I can't avoid sometimes to compare that hey is that kind of like trade race manager gameplay mechanism right so i mean there's nothing wrong on those one but if it is actually a copycat or inspired by this kind of game i think they, they should let people know as well right or maybe it's just a coincidence okay just a pardon for 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 this content all right so also, I see that Pegasus, um, Pegasus social media accounts started May 2021. So definitely, uh, if this got started last May 2021, they have been in works. Okay, this project has been in works. Okay, for the past cop, uh, for the past months on on this like certain amount of month, like May 2021. But like uh, what I've said to you. La right june 2021 last year you can now play to earn in trade race manager in pc and mobile right and this game hasn't been like launch all right so um if you're going to go back okay let me just show to you okay so this is a video of gj nix which is also uh, my fellow our fellow Filipino YouTuber that are also into play to earn games and NFC games, okay? And as you can see here, if you are in the top 10 or top 3, you will get IOI token. So that's like an equivalent of this, right? Uh, which you will be able to uh, to buy 
um, f more cars so that you'll be able to earn more or you can just withdraw your money and also get your money and also you can stake your money so that you'll be get getting some cars and all right so um, I'm sure he is she is losing into this portion oh, yeah. but let me just pause over here okay I think there will be a statistics yeah as you can see here you see there's like a uh, position one to position three which has a price of 0.1 IOY, 0.33 IOY, 0.07 IOY. And the rest doesn't receive anyone, anything, anything. So um, the good thing here is that you don't need to spend money to make money into a free race. But that's different from other races that involves a money. Right? But this one is a free race. So in Pegasus, this is what I see. I'm just going to play to you guys, okay? I've actually watched the entire clip of this. So um, let me just go back, okay? So your horses has a certain speed, has a certain strength, lightning, fire, water, wind. So this kind of like determines if you're going to win the race or not, right? However, in Trade Race Manager, you need to pick fuels, okay? Whether it is a BNB, Ethereum, USDT, and then after you pick, if you actually know or you um you pick the right position of fuels you will be getting the top spot so here pu purely pegasi is pretty much different on the mechanism of it like um how you'll be able to like uh, what do you call that surpass your opponents so this is pretty much different on on pegasi so I see that this is like this is not part of like the video all right so I just I just want to be transparent that okay probably Pegasi has a di has um what they call that has a um, similarities with trade race manager in re in regards to um like earning because of course if a lot of people are earning right probably the economy will not be that be good especially let's say there's like 10 um 10 people that are playing one game and all of them will earn there's too much supply that will be um what do you call that that will be uh, minted so that's not actually a good idea but um in regards to uh, like earning let's say only the the top one to three will just make a vis i think uh, that's kind of like uh, inspired or maybe got copied from a uh, trade race manager of course I again I am open for healthy discussions and also uh, maybe uh, what they do in Pegasus is that um, they take these portions of gameplay that are working into previous games and then they improvise and then they improve it and as you can see here Pegasus have a lot of uh, things into their minds uh, especially like uh, for the vis that you will be able to earn you can actually breed more horses which these vigorous tokens that you earn will be burned as well right however in trade risk manager it is not available yet so I would say that uh, in today's portion over here okay especially in play to earn NFT games and for just the developers out there um it just really needs a lot of budget a lot of time a lot of skills to be just be like be a good uh play to earn game and um of course the players the gamers will actually appreciate it by buying by investing by getting their hope their own horses into the game if they actually see that you are doing well so um i would say pegasi is um Pe Pegasus is really good because um, it also helped a lot of people like Ask Infinity to earn money, of course, and um, that's that's just what that's just what I, I I'm trying to point. My main point here is that if um, if this got copied or like the the gameplay had has been copied or inspired, I guess it should be also like mentioned, right? So um, doesn't matter, right? So. I just really hope that Pegasus earnings will be uh, back at the top as well. But this is what I've uh, I've noticed on uh, 
on a Pegasi, all right? So, yep, so there's a renting, there's a breeding, so they really act fast because renting, breeding, so there's like, you will, there's like a scholarship in Pegasi that are also available in Axie Infinity. So that's a really good, um, awesome, what do you call that, gameplay or like the mechanism that they've created. And as you can see, there's a lot of people that are involved into this game. So there's like 3, 6, 9, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 63, 66, 68 people that are inside the team and all of them are dogs. So I, I do really appreciate their um, what they call that their um, their efforts, right? And um, yeah, so that's that's uh, the our video for today. Um, I believe that uh, as a play to earn gamer, you should support these two projects as well, because um, I would say these two projects have a really good mechanism. But the only thing here in Pegasus is that since there's not much people that are like uh, breathing or maybe jumping into the game the prices is just going down so um, i'm not sure i'm not going to say anything about it okay um, i'm not an expert on this field i'm just a crypto enthusiast i just love playing games i just love sharing what i see what i i, I, I think about this uh, about these games so of course if you haven't subscribed into my channel please do subscribe this is crypto addict here back again with another awesome update from you guys again um this is not a financial advice okay always invest what you can afford to lose and also see you on the next video